G'day, I'm Michael Thompson. I'm a Big Fix Technical Advisor for Asia Pacific based out of Melbourne, Australia. Down the bottom you can see my QR code which you can scan to get in contact with me via LinkedIn. In this second part of the Big Fix Air Gap solution, I'm going to be covering how to use the Air Gap tool to do site gathers on Big Fix content and load them into the Big Fix environment. So with the Big Fix Air Gap tool, there's two actual methods that you can use, the extract method and the non-extract method. This video is going to be concentrating on the new non-extract method, which is available in 9.5.5. So here we have the web page for the non-extract usage. First thing we need to do is to create a site list. So on my Windows laptop that I've got that's connected to the internet, I'll run this air gap tool. And the air gap tool needs to be supplied the serial number, the email address of who the registered user is, and then we supply a switch to create the site list and we provide a actual name. We can also provide some additional details, such as proxy configuration if we need to use a proxy. Now, if you don't know where to find your actual serial number, if you jump into your masthead, you'll see a fixed site serial number, and then you'll have your masthead there. If you don't happen to know what the email address is that you used when BigFix was first registered, if you have a look inside your uh, license authorization file that you would have got when you did your initial installation of BigFix to generate your mastheads and your private key and CRT files, inside of that actual file, if you open it with a text editor, you'll be able to see the email address. So Big Fix typically does a gather of the sites that you activate. So here we are with the Big Fix Egg App tool. I've provided my serial number, my email address, and I'm giving an actual site to create. We'll have a look at our air gap tool directory there. And we'll just watch that as we hit enter. So you can see it's created some logs here. And what we're going to do is get a site list created, which we can then edit to determine which particular sites come down. Now, when we look at this particular file, <clears throat> there's only a couple of sites that are actually set to gather all contents at the beginning. One of them, of course, is Best Support. Now, typically when a, a normal installation works, Best Support is the first site that gathers, and that's when you then activate subsequent sites off that particular site. So we'll leave that as it is at the moment. And the other site that will gather is the Web UI Common. So now that we've configured our site list, we'll actually run the BizEgg app tool specifying that site. And it will now go out and gather the contents for those particular two sites that we looked at, the Biz Support and the Web UI Common. This will take some time, so I'll speed up the video. So now that the Egg app has finished, it's created an Egg app response file here. So what we want to do is copy this across into our Big Fix environment and then run the tool on the Big Fix side to do the import. So here we are with our Big Fix environment. I'll copy the air gap tool across. So there it is with our air gap response file. So now all we need to do is move to The directory and we can just run the air gap tool. And here we can see 
the egg out response file was successfully imported. So it's not going to happen straight away. We can see that the version now is zero, even if we look. But if we have a look in the background here, we go to our big fix server and we have a look in our gather db. We can see here if we have a look at the log. It will start doing a gather of those particular sites. And there you can see beginning database import of version 1436 of site there's support. So you can see now the version is it the current version. If we check the log here, it says the import of that version has completed successfully. So we now actually have our best support site working. So if we have a look here, we've got our content inside there. So that's all there is for today's content. Here are some helpful resources for you. First of all, we have bigfix.com, which is your landing page for finding out further information on a product offerings, and you can schedule a demo there. Next is support.bigfix.com, which provides you with product documentation, access to create support tickets, and also some details on events and webinars. And finally, we have forum.bigfix.com, where you can interact with other like-minded Big Fix enthusiasts, ask questions, and also engage with other users. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, and I wish you success on your continued Big Fix journey.